So here's what I have for you. So if you take a look at this guitar video, you can see that each string has a different pitch and pitch is like the sharpness of the sound. Ah, high pitch, uh, low pitch. Sorry about that. <laughs> so if you notice these top strings right up here have a lower pitch and the wavelength, the distance between the two peaks or crests are farther apart. So they have a longer wavelength. Whereas things that have a higher pitch have a closer or a shorter wavelength. Um, so this is all related to the electromagnetic spectrum. So if I go back to the journal, so the electromagnetic spectrum right down here, this picture has different types. So you have radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-ray, and gamma ray. Uh, visible light is brightness, is color. So on the HR diagram right here, the HR diagram is arranged by luminosity, which is brightness, which is an aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum. Same thing with temperature, and temperature is another aspect of the electromagnetic spectrum. So if you go to this interactive here on slide 11, this one, if you click on each of the different types of electromagnetic radiation or electromagnetic um, types on the spectrum, it gives you some examples. Make sure over here your label's turned on. So if I go down to infrared, for example, it tells me that infrared is the hotter the object is, the brighter it glows. So infrared has to do with temperature. So on the HR diagram on the y-axis, you have luminosity, which is brightness, which is visible light. And then on the x-axis, you have temperature of the star, which is infrared. So those are all types of radiation on the electromagnetic spectrum. And then to connect light and sound, on this slide right here, let me scoot down to it, sorry, right here. It says on slide eight, click for some more info about how light and sound are connected and it brings you to this e-note. <clears throat> and it just lets you know that um, light and sound are both expressed in waves. So light waves and sound waves are both expressed in that kind of wave with the crest and the wavelength. So if you scroll, scroll down, sound and light both travel in waves, which cause, are caused by vibrations. Um, so they give you some examples. In the case of sound waves, which are longitudinal, the vibrations begin with the movement. So sound waves, sound creates movement, which creates those waves. And similarly so, light travels in waves. And all of these are on the electromagnetic spectrum. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions or need any more help.